pile. <clears throat> I've managed to um, get the seal, the seal fitted in the in the back there. Fortunately, I didn't have time to do a video really, so um, I fitted that all in. I guess you know, straightforward. Knock it all out, knock it back in. Um, eventually, put a little bit of grease around it just to help ease it back onto the input shaft, and then do the four bolts up at the back, just about to see them. And then rebuild the front half with the release bearing here. I had to make some new bolts at the very top, as you can see there, because they had snapped up off and broken up into bits. So I just wanted to get some bolts, and bolts and nuts, drill through the top, and then put a lock in, put a lock in split pin in, and the shafts. The cross shafts I obviously put back in. Um, I just put a little bit of oil around them just to ease them back in. Just while I had the chance of everything apart, I thought I'd just give the tractor a bit of paint, a bit of a spruce up. You know, looks a bit nicer, tidier, and all the paint chips and everything. Tidied up the front half of the engine as well. Um, I will be doing some more repainting once the tractor is back together. <clears throat> See, that side of the engine's all been repainted, so it's down the other side here. Also added on another addition. We've, um, around by us now, it's um, a lot more hilly. Um, seeing I've moved house at the moment, a more video on that later, and making a new workshop. Um, it's a bit hilly, so getting onto the pole with your hand when you're trying to get the brakes on to be a bit fiddly. So I bought this adroit brake control, get that on the internet relatively um, easy enough, brand new. You just slide it, the lever, and lock it into on, and then you just operate the right like that. Simple as that, to take it off, and then just slide it off like that, and, then just, and the brakes come back off. Simple as that, a lot easier. Looks smart as well when it's all painted up. <clears throat> so the next stage is to clean that front face off. And then I'm going to put, just for good measure, some paste on there, the um, reaction paste, because as we know, this is made out of electron alloy with the gearbox and the bell housing. And we know that the back of the engine is made out of ordinary cast iron. So in case there is an electrolytic reaction, which I doubt there will be, but, you know, as a, uh, I know that you do get it between the aluminium steering box and the um, gearbox, so just to, in good measure, we'll um, put it on just in case. So the next video will show me sliding, you know, slide the two halves back together, bolting them all up, and then reconnecting all the radius arms, the throttle rod there, and all the trap rod ends and everything. Then. I'll then be testing, hopefully, you know, give her a run. Hopefully we should have cured the leak. If not, well, I guess it's back to the drawing board on that. You look around at any other likely causes, but I've had a look around in the transmission while I had it apart. And I, from what I can see at the moment, I haven't seen anything. So hopefully we should be, hopefully should be another, another job sorted. And we can get on then with, you know, I will <clears throat> repaint the radiator because that's starting to look a little bit grubby and all the just the stuff that you see just to spruce up really, not making her in a show condition, but just to make her a bit more tidier and um, a little bit, you know, more presentable, shall we say. Um, so, yeah, so I guess tune into the next video and you will then see the two halves of these track, two halves of this tractor joined back together final assembly and then on to testing so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video cheers